from my YouTube channel C++ Electricity and Magnetism. Click this button. Scroll down. Episode 47. In our previous episode, we learned uniform blocks. Also, we used bind buffer base. My current session continues from my previous episode, episode 47. Show more. Download current video source code. Click it. Show in folder. Unzip it. Rename 48. Shader storage buffer object. Copy, paste it in your working directory. Open up Visual Studio Code, Electricity and Magnetism from folder 48. Open up cube.cpp, cube but Ctrl B, I will arrange side by side. I assume you have watched my previous video, episode 47. I will Hold it up, right click, application, go to definition. In this file, scroll down. You can find virtual void run, this function. Scroll down, right before virtual void, init function, copy. In the cube.cpp, in the public section, paste. Now scroll up, I will delete virtual override. Now scroll down, I will simply delete this. Scroll down, in the do while block, I will disable glfw swap buffers. Instead, copy, scroll down. In the function render, here paste and the function render. Now open up your command prompt. You should see Intel SQL OpenCL OpenGL Super Bible 7th Edition CD 048 Shader Storage Buffer Object. Hit enter. ICXCLCube.cpp RESP.txt Hit enter. We have error message. Debug callback is a private member of SB7 application. 217. Go to 217. I will simply delete. Like this, we will rebuild CLS I. You should see this pretty cube. Now close it. In the file cube.bot, I will make it bigger and uh, I will delete like this. Now here, layout std for 30. Binding 0. Buffer vertex IDs. Vertex IDs. Semicolon. Unsigned int IDs. This is array. This is called shader storage buffer. Now, in this file again, I will Hold it up. In this section, gl unsigned int vertex id buffer. Copy this. Scroll down. In this section, create an uninitialized buffer for shader storage buffer object. gl Create buffers. One address of vertex ID buffer. GL find buffer. We use GL shader storage buffer. We pass vertex ID 
Ti Papa GL Papa Data Target GL Shader Storage Papa Size I'll be using Vertex Indices Size Times Size of GL U int data. This data is null. Usage GL dynamic copy. Please understand. We created an empty buffer for GL shader storage buffer. Now scroll down in the function render. Scroll down. Here, gl bind buffer base, gl shader storage buffer, gl int index. This index means our shader storage buffer's binding point is zero. So we provide zero. Then buffer vertex id buffer semicolon. Now in this file we can use vertex ids. Here it has ids member. This is array gl vertex id equals gl vertex text id now scroll down after gl swap buffers gl unsigned int this is pointer ids gl map buffer range gl shader storage Buffer offset zero length vertex position indices size times size of gl unsigned int access gl map with bit we have to typecast gl unsigned int pointer gl unmap buffer gl shader storage buffer in between for int i equal 0 i less than vertex indices size plus plus i we will use typecast int std c out i d s i then std c out std and there now open up our command prompt we rebuild cls i please understand we see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 0, 0. This string comes from here. As you can see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then 0, 0, 0, 0. Now close it. If we do plus equal, then we build. CLS I Wow, it is adding up Delete I would say Here GL Map Right bit After display We will Reset to Zero We will Rebuild CLS I. Somehow the result is the same. 